What is up men, 25 gamers? Today's video we're going to focus on the 5 sets for success presented to us by S. Gibbs and Z. Farles. The 5 sets for success is a way to think about Madden in general terms and, and deciding how you're going to build your offense and defense. And the first of the 5 sets for success on offense is having a base formation. You know, a formation that can come out give you a man to zone read or something that just can get you in your continuity and flow. Now, with the game Madden 25, the way they did a good job of disguising defensive coverages, disguising um, the different techniques and stuff like that, we don't really know for sure if it's man or zone. We don't know for sure if it's, you know, cover two or two man under. But we do have some tells, and that's why I like to use, like, a doubles or a spread offense to come out and get me um, in a flow offensively. As you guys know, I like to use the Giants slot trail from the Giants playbook. But for today's video, I want to show you just a basic curl flat play. This is one of my favorite base plays as well. Now one of the things we can tell right off the bat when we come out and we're playing a user is whether or not they base as whether or not they're gonna baseline or not. And the way we could tell this is by the position of the cornerback. So here I'm gonna baseline my defense and you see that the corners are gonna move inside the receivers. And then if I just reset the coverage, they're gonna be over the top. That's gonna be a quick tell as to whether or not it's gonna be a base align or not. Typically if it's base align that means that they're a little bit more of an advanced player and you you know they're this is going to give you a little bit more of a tell as to what they're doing. All right, now what if they base line and say they shift their linebackers one way and they shift their line another way? This is a quick tell that they're trying to set up a standard demo, uh, a base defense. Something like this is something that we can see is typically going to be a, a look of pressure. So what they'll do is they'll send, slide this guy off the outside, probably blitz him. And this is what a basic blitz would look like. So this is something that you could kind of key on if they start moving guys around like this. This is this is kind of a tell that they could be blitzing. So typically in a, in a heavy blitz situation like this, what they'll do is they'll try to really take away that out route. Um, and then they'll, you know, maybe man this guy up over here. They'll do a bunch of random things you're not used to seeing. Uh, but typically this is going to be their basic blitzing concept if, if I was running this. And so as soon as I see this, I'm going to check down to my slants play. I'm going to put Roberts on a slant, Mendenhall on a wheel. That way I have two flat combos and slants. And depending on the left side read here, you're going to see that I can hit X on that quick slant, quick hop pass um, for easy yardage. Now, now, there's different tells and stuff like that that you can get out of the doubles formation. You see here, when they're shifting guys around, but what if they're going to say, okay, well, I'm going to play maximum coverage defense. Well, in this situation, a, a curl-flat combination will be what we want to use to beat um, just our standard basic defense. But how do you know what they're doing? Well, typically what you'll see is in a standard defense where they're going to be running uh, a pressure, they're going to slide him down. If they don't slide him down, then typically it'll be max coverage. If they do slide him down, it'll be blitz. It's little things that you can key on uh, with what your opponent's doing. Now, some people, some opponents are smart, and they, you know, they do it over and over again, and they make everything look the same. And that's something that I recommend you do as a defensive opponent yourself. And how do you tell then? At that point, you don't tell. It's a tendency game, but you do take advantage of alignment. You take advantage of things like that. So, like in this example here, if we're looking at this, so say this is a typical alignment of this formation. This is something that a lot of people will do out of this. And they'll make it look the same like this. Where are they weak here? Well, they're weak in the fact that they have too deep safety over top, so we could just run some levels concepts uh, to get the ball out of our hands quick. So, one of the things I like to do is place Roberts on a drag, Floyd on a comeback, and this is going to be a generic levels concept, and we also have that deep comeback concept, or, uh, excuse me, deep comeback route to, um, to beat the defense. Now, um, that was probably the wrong read there uh, as an offense, but the idea is the same here. You know, using the using the levels concept, we read okay, the safety stayed too high, so we can now work the level side of the field. It's also a post snap read. What are the safeties doing? Are they are they rolling? And let me give you an example of what they might do if they roll. So, in a situation where they're in a cover three, you'll see the right safety will roll down, and the deep safety will come over the top. And then in a situation where they're in a cover two. Um, or a cover four, um, then everything changes. You see now these safeties will fan out like they're playing the deep sideline, which they are playing the deep sideline, and we see now um, the difference in the read. And, and it's, it's a difference in the way that you would attack the defense. So, for example, if they're in a cover three, you would want to attack your curl flat concepts. You would want to attack your curl flat side of the field. So in our little play set up here, we want to attack that deep out to Fitzgerald in a cover three situation, as you see there. 
okay? It's all about reading the sides of the reading what the safeties do post snap. And then, for example, the same thing works man to man wise. If they're in um like a two man under, and they base a line and press and they do all that and blah blah blah, the safeties are still gonna fan out. Um, it's still gonna it's not gonna change. So the safeties fan out. Okay, I know I'm gonna work my level side of the field, and I see my running back come open in behind that underneath drag. It's all the same thing. It's just different. It's just what side of the field are you wanting to read? Are you going to read your cover three slash cover one beater, or are you going to read your cover two slash cover four beater? That's what you get as a post snap read. That's why I like the doubles because it gives me an easy read. Uh, by personality, I like the doubles because typically they don't have to base a line, but it will look as if they did. And the reason I like that is because it gives me an easy tell as to what the safeties are doing post snap. All right, guys, that's the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it.